Okay, so the bottom is not factored. Let's factor it. Okay, if it's not factored, it should be always factoring first. So um, the bottom here actually first has a common factor of two. You know, because it has that two, it makes the factoring a little bit more tougher. Once we factor that out, it'll be easier. This one actually has a common factor of four. Again, making the try and error factoring a little bit tougher. Now it's not so bad. It's t minus three and t minus four. And this is t minus three and t plus one. So they do have this in common. So that can be uh, just repeated once by everything else. Oh, they also have a common factor of two, I should say, two, because four is two times two. So four is the lowest common multiple of two and four. This is there, and now we just need to right, further add these two factors. Because this, this expression here has two times by t minus three, t minus four, also has four times by t minus three, t plus one. Okay, so how did this become this? Well, we need an extra two, but we also need an extra t plus one. For 5t, how did this become this? Right, we just need one extra factor, which is t minus 4. Okay, so this is going to be 2t squared, 1, 2, so 3t plus 1, 5t squared minus 20t. So this becomes um, four, so four plus five is nine t squared, six minus 20 minus 14 uh, minus 14 t, and a plus two. Okay, so the restriction is t cannot be three, four, negative one.